I have been daily driving the Galaxy Watch 3 for many months now, and it's been great. But one of the things that I've noticed is this. Yeah. Let's talk about what this is, how and why this happens, and learn more about display technologies along the way. What you're looking at right here is a ghost image, also known as Vernon or image retention. Whatever you call it, it's the unfortunate phenomenon where the content gets stuck on the display, showing as a ghost that haunts you whenever you use the thing. This can happen for a number of reasons and to pretty much any kind of display. So given that, is it something you should worry about? For most people, probably not. The dominant display technology today are liquid crystal displays or LCDs. As per the name, these displays use liquid crystals and backlight to display an image. Each pixel is essentially a bunch of molecules of liquid crystals that are electrically controlled to produce whatever structure they need to form. Chances are, this is the kind of display that you are using right now, be it on your phone, your laptop, your display, or even your TV. These displays do sometimes suffer image retention when the liquid crystals get stuck instead of changing their structure from one state to the next, and usually happens when static content gets displayed on it for extended periods of time. But these are usually undetectable and thankfully not permanent. By switching off the display and letting the liquid crystals go back to the relaxed state for a little while, the display will refresh itself and it will be able to basically clear itself out. Overall, it's not that big of a problem and something you probably don't need to worry about. Where it can be a problem though is for an up and coming display technology, the organic light emitting diode or OLED display. Unlike LCDs, OLEDs don't require liquid crystals or even a backlight. Each pixel is an arrangement of red, green, and blue LEDs and can be individually controlled on and off. This means that black literally turns off the individual pixels, unlike LCDs which form crystals that try to hide the backlight. This results in giving OLED their distinctive deep blacks and incredible contrast, as well as being able to use them in very low power applications so long as most of the display is black, meaning that most of the pixels aren't even turned on. There are many more benefits to OLED, which is why it's being continually researched right now. But of course, these things are not perfect. OLED pixels tend to degrade over time the more you use them. And they tend to degrade faster than the liquid crystals on an LCD. That's a problem, especially if you have static content displayed on it. The more you use an OLED pixel, the faster it will degrade, and if some pixels get used more often than others, they can slowly burn in the static content and make it very visible to the end user. And that's exactly what happened here. Samsung used an active matrix organic light emitting diode or AMOLED for the Galaxy Watch 3, which is a variation of OLED technology. And since I've had this thing on always on display mode for pretty much since I've got it, that means that I've been displaying static content on it so long as it's been turned on. And well, it's already burned it in. For something that has to display a watch face, which inherently has things on it that don't move at all, like the circles that you saw right now, you will notice it. This is something I should have highlighted in the review, but have honestly not really thought much about it until I started noticing it. You won't notice it most of the time, if at all. I certainly didn't, since the display of the Galaxy Watch 3 has been set pretty much to dark mode. But when you display something bright and white, those degraded pixels will show. 
The only way to reverse this is to even out the wear so that you won't notice it too much. Which of course isn't really a fix since you're quite literally sanding down a floor to remove the scratches. And it will obviously reduce the overall lifetime of the display. You can try and prevent this by just not turning on the always on display mode. But from my point of view, it's kind of stupid because it's a watch. If I have to use the special gesture or have to, you know, click a button or rotate the bezel on here, that's kind of defeats the point of wearing a watch, don't you think? So I've decided to just, I don't know, just live with it, I guess. It's going to bother me, obviously, and it should absolutely be considered when you're buying this or pretty much anything that has OLED on it and has the ability or the chance to display static content for extended periods of time. Say, for example, on a laptop when you have the start menu on the bottom or even a phone, for example. But, I mean, it's still functional, so I can't really complain that much. And it's probably my fault because I've had it on always on, but in my defense, it is an option that Samsung gives you, so who knows. I didn't want to share this with you though, because even though I've accepted this at this point, this is something you need to take note of. And it's something that you should absolutely have in mind whenever you're finding something OLED. Oh man, I totally mangled that script. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, yep, that was a that was a fun video. I literally just noticed it a few days ago. So good job, Samsung.